I would like to show today improvements that were done around the presentation of the releases in Altium 365. So uh, let's start with the list of releases. So each of the release of the outputs for a given project, which is managed in Altium 365, is visible on the manufacturer page. And as you can see here, we have access to the high level details of what's included in the release. So who did the release, what's the note that was done for the release, also which data sets were generated uh, for a particular release. So on the bottom one, we see that uh, there are fabrication data sources were released and also um, two variants, default and no variations. In this uh, next release, only no variations were released. We also can get more information about the data. So let's expand this show files and it will present us with the quick list of all of the items that were that are included in the release and we can expand and download any of the individual files uh, as well as we can download the whole folder or whole package. So that uh, provides you in, in, with an easy access to the, all of the data that are generated as part of the release. If you would like to see more details about the release, uh, you can use the option to open up a specific release or a specific variant. So when we do that, the new tab opens. And in this tab, we have um, details of a particular release. So first of all, we have an overview, which is similar to what was visible on the previous page, but right now we have a little bit more details. As an example, we see all of the parameters that were given for a given uh, release uh, revision. Once again, we have access to the files and we can also access those files from here. Uh, but in addition, there is a design snapshot node and the design snapshot node uh, give us the option to see each of the um, files that are part of the project at the time when the release was done. And we can also collaborate on it. So we can place a comment, mention somebody. And all of that is being marked and triggered in context of this uh, release. Let's go back to the list of the releases page. And one item I didn't mention is the support for life cycles. And that's something that is available only with the Altium 365 Pro. So as you can see, each of these artifacts that is being uh, available in a release has this small rectangle with, which, with the color. And when you hover, it says which uh, life cycle is it. So we have color coding life cycle and also these names are, are visible here. We are able to change the life cycle. So as an example, when we do the review and those two items in this release are ready to be uh, moved to the production, we can change the life cycle state of the items directly in the web UI. So we just move both into the production life cycle. It's reflected in the in the system right away. There is also an option to show only the data which are relevant. So this particular uh, project has more releases. If I click this show hidden releases, it will show me the other releases. But the, the one which were originally uh, not shown, they have some of the items in, uh, let's say, not applicable state. So we can, based on the lifecycle configuration, we can specify that some of the states are uh, not to be seen. And in this case, we will just filter them automatically. So they are only the relevant information are always presented to you and your uh, team. Similar information are visible in the Altium Designer. So if we go to Explorer and we navigate the project, uh, the project page is right now updated, so it contains all of the core information about the project, like the properties, parameters, the modification, who did it. Uh, and also it has the releases tab, 
in this tab, we see all of the data that we saw in the web UI a couple of moments ago. We can also switch this uh, show hidden releases uh, checkbox, which shows all of the data with the life cycles directly in the Explorer.